I suppose creativity started on day one, where we went from a, a Friday afternoon where people were in the classroom, uh, staff and students, to a Monday morning where people effectively flicked on their laptops and, and went online for, for emergency remote teaching. And it was that jump from probably 10 years of progress in, in a matter of a weekend. We could bring kind of the outer world into the classroom. So students were able to attend conferences and webinars uh, around the country, around Europe. Uh, so for example, on a Tuesday afternoon, we all went to Dublin for a webinar at the National Botanic Gardens. That's something we wouldn't have been able to do had we been actually in the classroom. We made a breakthrough in terms of encouraging people to see the possibilities of what's available on, on, in technology. Um, stuff that maybe staff didn't think could be done was now actually able to be done. Students now had a chance to be able to have their lectures recorded and so they could go back to concepts that they may have missed and be able to play it back onto themselves. So that they wouldn't have if they were in class in person. My colleagues in the academic world provided our students with the opportunity to complete learning activities at home that they would have traditionally completed in laboratories and studios. For example, our electronic engineering students got kit to experiment with at home so that they wouldn't have to come to college during times when COVID was at its uh, greatest. We have had to be responsive and, and flexible in our programme delivery and how we deliver our programmes in relation to our teaching, learning assessment and student engagement strategies. We got the students into pods that were related to the business they were in, the product that they were doing or the service that they were doing, which was much more beneficial. And then training and mentoring could be tailored to that group as opposed to a general delivery of a training or mentoring program. We pivoted from face to face where the external examiner had to be present while the student performed their particular task to now moving to an online environment. And that allowed us to expand the range of external examiners we use. The, the logistics of getting our external examiner to site wasn't an issue. I don't think we're going back to, as we'd say, time equal to zero on this. I think that once people discover new technology, it's like discovering new colours. Um, and just as the artist discovers those new colours, they're not going to forget about them anytime soon. The hope is that this extended experience everyone has had will open up conversations about how learning happens and how online and digital can bring value and benefit. And by the way, we don't have to choose, you know, between traditional face-to-face -face and online. We can just look to see what is it we're trying to achieve um, and how can online and digital solve problems and bring value.